Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new killer, the Skull Merchant. As you can see, Lady Killer, nice looking claws. Let's check out what she does. I'm going to break down her perks, I'm going to show you her Mori, and we're going to see exactly how her ability works. So she's a hard difficulty killer. The Skull Merchant. Okay, so she's got three perks. Thwack. Leverage and game of foot. So what does Thwack do? Thwack, after hooking a survivor, the next breakable wall or pallet you break will make survivors scream within 32 meters and reveal their aura for four seconds. All right, so an aura reading perk. Those are always greatly appreciated. That's a pretty strong one too because there's a lot of walls everywhere and a ton of pallets to break too. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it's, I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of perks you can you know synergize with, but overall breaking pallets and revealing for four seconds plus lethal gives you an extra two. That's going to be really strong. Leverage. Each time you hook a survivor, gain one token up to 10. When you hook a survivor, this perk activates for each token, reduces the speed at which survivors heal by 5% for 30 seconds. So at 10 tokens, 50% heal reduction for 30 seconds every time you hook a survivor. That's not terrible. Not the strongest thing ever with, you know, circle of healing and this, that, and the other med kits. It's not going to be too... <sighs> too annoying it's gonna be obnoxious for solo players obviously who don't bring know what they're bringing in but eh, i don't think it's gonna be terrible all right game of foot while you're chasing the obsession this perk activates damaging generators and breaking walls or pallets give you a five percent haste bonus for 10 seconds whenever you hit the survivor with the total most time and chase of the basic attack they become the obsession interesting so this is a forced obsession changer perk that's not terrible um Damaging gens and breaking walls or pallets give you 5%. So while you're chasing the obsession, you get a 5% haste bonus every time you break up. That's actually pretty strong. If you're really closing in on that chase, but they drop a pallet in front of you, and you know how often you lose so much ground because you got to break the pallet because it's, you know, it's a safe pallet and you can't get through unless you break it. This is going to be huge to help pick back up that chase. I like that. That's really solid. All right, let's look at our ability, huh? Eyes in the sky. The Skull Merchant starts the trial with four drones. Okay, so it is a drone killer. Pressing the power button places a drone which enters active mode after a short boot up period. In this mode, the drone creates a detection zone around itself. Within it, the killer is undetectable. Ooh. And survivors gain lock on progress. The drone reverts to a scouting mode when no survivors are detected for a while. In scouting mode, the drone begins a sweeping scan and if it finds a survivor, it re-enters active mode. Survivors can interact with a drone to disable it. If they fail, it enters active mode. If they succeed, it returns to the killer, but the survivor is stuck with a claw trap. Special effect, claw trap. A claw trap broadcasts the survivor's location to the killer until its battery dies. If they get too close to a drone, it enters active mode and the claw trap battery is recharged. The killer can press the ability button to open a radar to see the locations of survivors with the claw traps and those in the detection zone. So, damn. Aura reading... Or reading this whole chapter's or reading. Okay. Special effect lock on. When full, the survivor is revealed by killer instinct while inside a drone's detection zone and suffers from the exposed status effect until the meter discharges where they're put into the dying state. And an insta down? Holy crap, this looks insane. But don't take my word for it. Let's check them out. Let's check them out. All right, let's see here. Let's get her brand new perk set up all right let's dive in area crows nice open map nice easy to see let's see what this lady does see how are oh attack drones work all right so we got our okay we're gonna inspect the radar oh no way so that actually shows you where your little teammate oh that's so cool yep i see him stay on target deploy drone all right, where's it go? Um. I'm chasing this guy. Oh, he's in the zone. So now what does that do? Oh, so it does show. Okay, so it shows aura all the while you're in the zone and then for four seconds afterwards. Oh, it's locking on. <laughs> it's making noises. Oh, that's so cool. And then I have four drones, huh? Oh, that's really awesome. Now, I wonder if drones can be used for camping. All right, so we just reset it. 
It looks like I have to back pretty far away. Radar active. <laughs> I've got one stack for my... Uh, okay, so there's my haste boost. Oh, I think I saw somebody. Let me make sure. What? There's my radar. Oh, they're not in the... Um, they don't have the claw trap on anymore. Okay, that makes sense. That's fair. Oh, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, buddy! What are we doing? You ding-dong! Oh, no! You gotta love bots. You gotta love bots, guys. Alright, alright. Inspect the radar. We got anything? Nothing yet. Okay. Recall drone. Can I? Boink. Alright, so we got the drone back. Um, It looks like I can only have one drone out at a time. Unless... Now, see, it's only giving the option one at a time. Curious. That's cool, though, that you can track once you get them in the... Oh, no, you just put them in the multiple... Oh. Okay, you just gotta space them out and let the recharge out. Okay, oh, that makes sense. Now, let's test this other perk out. There's the scream. And now we see where she is. Another scream. And we've got her tracked, I think. Nope, we don't. I lied. But she's getting locked on. Damn, these bots are getting kind of smart. Okay. Not too, not too smart. Not too smart. Is there a speed boost? We got 5% haste to reset that chase. To get us back into the game, right? Wow, that is... That is, that is nuts! 10 seconds is such a long time to have that. I caught up immediately. Woo! Bye-bye safe pallets. All right, activate the drone. Oh, nice! Drone shows me where the homie is. All right, they're getting these, uh... Jen's done a little fast. You guys gotta chill. Oh, there's another one down there? You cheeky bastard. Stay on target. Stay on target. I'm on to you, buddy. All right, there's my indetectable zone. Nice. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Alright, I think they're both in this area too. Ooh. A toy drone! Where is he at? Where is he hiding? There he is. Oh my god, what is this playstyle? <laughs> oh shit, we got the kill zone! Uh oh! Okay, I want to get to that then. Because he's insta downable, if I'm not mistaken. I see him, I see him, I see him. Oh, we're going to lose out on that kill. That, that lock on kill zone shit. He's scattered too. I mean, makes sense. Alright, so it looks like I can reactivate these whenever I want. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And they only go down if I, you know, if somebody destroys them. Oh, there you are, buddy. Come on out, let's play. Alright, somebody quick get that save. Come on, Jeff. You know you want to. I need that Mori. Come on, give it to me. Oh, 
they're not gonna get that save, are they? They are not. Oh, they did! Nice. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he's ballsy. Oh, he's big ballsy. All right. Let's see what this Mori looks like. Here we go. Predator type shit right there with the backst. Oh, hey, that's a pretty solid Mori. All right, all right. Activate them. Oh, hears them. Oh. Where you going, buddy? Huh? Where you going, huh? Ah! I will right, we'll break this. Okay, so that didn't show his scream though. Interesting. I wonder if he's got a specific perk. This one though. It didn't show a scream either. Has he got calm spirit and or all aura blocking? Or am I crazy? Oh no, my shit ain't actually. Yeah. Huh. I wonder. <laughs> Alright, so this should alter whoever I have the longest chase time with swaps to the obsession. It'll help prevent non-stop chases. I like that. I really do. As a as a killer player. As a survivor, that's gonna suck. Uh-oh. Well that's not good. Well, Y'all didn't tell me this was gonna happen. Hey, oh, whoa, wait, whoa, man, whoa, wait, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, she's going for the. She's not. Ballsy. The other dude, the Jeff, is he bailing? Is the Jeff bailing? He's gonna go for the save, right? Jeff, you wouldn't. Jeff, you wouldn't. Jeff, say it ain't so. Alright, how do I. Where's the drone activation? Where's Jeff hiding? How do I uh, <laughs> recall the drones here? All right, so it won't let me pop him. There he is. Jeff. <laughs> that, was, that was solid. That's a great idea. Leave those pallets up for the last second. I like that. I like that a lot. So that you can use it to see those last second save attempts. Oh, Jeff. Where are we going, buddy? Oh, Jeff. Oh, buddy. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, Jeffy Jeff. Mm. Ooh. All right, all in all, I think this is a pretty solid new killer. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think of the Mori, what do you think of the perks, what do you think of the power? How badass do you think she is? Pretty cool, right? And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.